Hello viewers, in today's video we will see how to post an asset sale uh, to a customer uh, on retirement in uh, SAP in SAP S4 HANA. In this, in, uh, in this video we will see in general entries group uh, we can choose post retirement integrate, integrated uh, uh, from sale, uh, asset retirement uh, from sales with customer. So here we need to enter the date of uh, you know the retirement. Uh, or the date of sale we can choose uh, document date and posting date it need to be most mostly the same and some of the scenarios might be different company code has been entered and uh, uh, we need to sell this uh, asset uh, you know uh, this is, asset is machine and uh, 50,000 euros is the revenue uh, to be generated from this sale so we will be entering various, uh, you know, field venues, and uh, posting date and uh, company code, and uh, these have been entered. Type is DR. And uh, currency need to be selected. Uh, I will choose Euro, of course. Then we, we need to enter the customer invoice by adding the customer item. And uh, now before that, we need to enter posting key, which is 01, and uh, the customer account number, which is uh, 101 and uh, four times zero and one, is the account number and the currency need to be selected. Okay, and then uh, we need to enter the amount. Uh, this is the customer item we are adding here, uh, 50,000. Uh, by clicking the calculated tax means uh, we will input the tax here as though it is uh, zero, but the tax need to be, code need to be selected here. And uh, 50,000 euros, okay. Payment terms is uh, 004, okay. After this, we need to, to enter a correct customer item um, with a posting key of 50 and uh, account number. Then we need to select also the correct customer item. And here we need to enter the posting key uh, 50. Uh, along with account number, the 700 to 20,000, uh, the account number needs to be entered. Okay, and uh, this is revenue from asset retirement account, and uh, after this, uh, we need to enter the customer invoice, adding the GL account item. It need to be, and the amount field need to be static, and uh, asset retirement need to be selected to, tie, uh, to select the type of uh, the transaction. Okay, here we will put the star and. Uh, Asset retirement, uh, the checkbox of asset retirement you can see at the bottom, at the middle of the screen. So the same amount will be used here and uh, this will be the credit entry and here we will put a tick on asset retirement. 
then we need to create as well retirement and uh, in that we need to input the machine number okay here we need to input the machine number and uh, we need to input the asset value date and com and complete retirement need to be also take so the asset number is this one okay and uh, then asset value date need to be uh, july 1st of the year and the complete retirement checkbox need to be selected okay Once it's selected, we can continue. Okay, and uh, And go to, to display so we can see the entries debit and credit entries revenue from SSL will be credited okay. here are all the transaction against this asset and uh, revenue uh, is Credited receivable domestic is uh, debited, and we need to check IFRS uh, representation also. Okay, apart from this, this is all about I mean asset retirement uh, transaction. can see various uh, representation whatever we like it is available in the system and uh, okay once we are done then we can post the entry to have the ledger effect You can see various options available here in the and guys thank you very much for watching the videos and uh, please subscribe to the channel so that I could uh, you get the notification for the new videos thank you very much take care